Welcome to Indian Railways Institute of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering, Jamalpur. I am Shilpa Punia of SCI 2014 batch. And I am Abhinav Shrivastav of SCI 2014 batch. Today I will show you how a CNC turning lathe works through this CNC turning trainer. And I am going to show you how a CNC milling lathe works through this CNC milling trainer. Let us discuss briefly about the lathe and milling machines. A lathe is a machine where the job or workpiece rotates and the tool is given the required feed to perform the various operations on job or workpiece to bring it to the desired shape. The basic parts of a lathe are Headstock Headstock is the main body part placed at the left side of the bed. It serves as a holding device for the gears, spindle, driving pulley and chuck. Spindle It is the main part of lathe which holds and rotates the chuck. Chuck It is bolted on the spindle and used to hold the workpiece. Tailstock It is placed at right hand side of the bed opposite to the headstock. It is used for centering and supporting a long job tied on the chuck. Carriage it is situated between the headstock and tailstock. It is used to hold and move the tool post on the bed vertically and horizontally. Lathe bed. It is the main body of the machine made up of cast iron. It is the base where all the lathe parts are mounted. Next we will discuss the axis of lathes. CNC lathes generally have two axes, X and Z. The axis parallel to the spindle axis is Z axis through which the job rotates and the axis perpendicular to the spindle axis it is X axis. The tool is fed along the X axis. Milling is the machining process which refers to removal of metal from a workpiece using a rotating tool. Axis of milling machine a milling machine may have 3 to 6 axes. A 3 axis machine moves the job or workpiece horizontally in x and y axis directions and the tool moves vertically along z axis direction. A 6 axis machine has 3 axes along x, y and z directions and other 3 axes are the rotational axes along these x, y and z axis. Lastly, the word CNC means computer numerical control which denotes the automation of machine tools by means of computers. A computer executes machine control commands in the CNC program. In contrast to the conventional machines that are manually controlled by hand wheels or levers. A CNC system consists of three basic components. Part program made by the programmer Machine Control Unit MCU that controls machining operations and the machine tool that performs the operations. Now let us see the demo of a CNC lathe and milling trainer at Irimi Jamalpur. This one is Fanuc Control CNC Turning Lathe Trainer. It is used for imparting training regarding different lathe operations like step turning, taper turning, facing, threading, chamfering and boring. After working on this trainer, a workman can work on any lathe operation. Now we will see the various parts of this trainer. This is the power supply board. This is the voltage stabilizer. This is CNC operating panel. This is operators panel. Now let us see the inside parts. This is the spindle assembly with three jaws that holds the job. This one is turret holding eight tools. This is the coolant tap. Now moving on to the bottom parts. This one is the spindle motor which is a servo motor. 
this is the coolant motor this is the coolant tank this is the chip tray and these are the damping pads on which the CNC machine rests this is the lubrication oil tank and the lubrication motor and these are the electrical and electronic systems now we will use the CNC machine to demonstrate to you the facing operation of the cylindrical job in facing operation the tool moves in two directions the x axis and the z axis for any operation in a cnc machine there are five basic steps jogging referencing offsetting simulation and execution the first step is jogging in jog mode we move the tools manually to free the axis for jogging we have to press the jog button first then press x minus button for about 4 seconds to move the tool along x axis then press z minus button for about 4 seconds to move the tool along z axis now the jogging process is complete then I'll go to the next step that is referencing referencing means sending the tool to its home position for referencing press the reference button first then x plus button to reference x axis and then z plus button to reference z axis now as we can see the tool goes to its home position that is machine 00, zero position the next step is offsetting which means selecting a point on the job as x0 and z0 for offsetting the tool is touched on the outer diameter of the job for the x coordinate offsetting which I will show you press the MPG button then press into 100 or into 10 or into 1 button to set speed then touch the tool at outer diameter of the job using hand wheel as can be seen the tool is offsetting on the outer diameter of the job now we will touch the tool at the end phase of the job for Z coordinate offsetting the directions of which are as follows again press the MPG button then press into 100 or into 10 or into 1 button to set speed then touch the tool at the end phase of the job using hand wheel now offsetting is complete after offsetting the point becomes job x0 z0 and all the part programs shall be written with respect to this job 0 comma 0 the next step is simulation by simulation we will be able to view the effect of the intended operation as per CNC program since we are going to perform the facing operation we will open library in operating panel select the POS plus button then select the program button select the intended program then press the input button press CSTM button press graph button OPRT button and clear button on the display console thereafter press auto BDT MLK OPT and DRN buttons reduce the feed rate to 15 by adjusting the feed override knob press the reset button then press cycle start button finally press start in display console 
A simulation of pacing is displayed as shown here. This simulation shows machining as per CNC program. Now we move into the final step that is the execution of our job. For this press the program button then select check in the display console then in the operating panel select the following buttons auto SBK BDT and then OPT then the feed override is reduced to zero position by adjusting the feed override knob then press the cycle start button repeat cycle start till the spindle starts rotating then release the SPK button increase the feed speed to speed as desired for operation as we can see here the job has started rotating then the facing will continue till the end this is our final shape at the end of the program